of 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 Trump moving things like just slightly. Yeah. But with like the cat head. It's the best. It's hysterical. Are we I think we're live. Yep. Did we just bring politics into the video? No, because I didn't I just said the video was funny, I didn't make a judgment of his politics. I made a judgment of him going like this. We're in the clear. We're in the clear. What does that mean? We're filming? Cool! Coffee's good. Are we? Are we? Good to go. Good to go. We are on air. Woo! Thank you. It feels really dark in that corner today. That's okay. We're not up there. Where's the audience? Okay. We should probably welcome them. You should welcome them. Welcome, okay. audience. Welcome to next filming of Philabot Live. Oh. <laughs> in this Wait, video. Wait, is this the next one after this one? <laughs> We're recycling CD cases. Hey, I got one. Well, we're going over how we recycle CD Damn. cases. <laughs> Terrible. You gotta get this one, Kevin. Yay. Oh, I'm getting better. Launch. Oh. Yes. It's like playing disc golf. But it inside. is. You, you gotta take some. You That's gotta. It. What? I'm taking these out too? Yeah, we gotta show oh, the cases. Oh, okay. There are three different types of CD cases. There's a jewel case. Which are these? There is a slim case, which is this style. They're slimmer. And there's actually what are the three? There's one more. There was uh oh single CD, which I actually I think is this one. This is the single CD, and then this is the slim case. There's also the paper cases, which we didn't work on. Sleeves. There's sleeves. Well, because we don't work on paper. Right. Because you know how you recycle paper? You recycle paper. It's That's done. really easy. It's done. So cases. We took cases and ground them up and turned them into grindings. Shavings. Shavings? Grindings. What's the technical term? Tiny pieces. Granules. Tiny dancers of plastic. Uh-oh. It's gonna go poorly. Oh that's a look at the size of that chunk. If you grind you should have smaller pieces than that piece. Ooh. Is it like playing in the sand? It is. It always is. Every episode. And every every episode. episode. Make like a sand castle. It's like coffee. Um, you can see the multi colors in this. How is that like coffee? I don't know. I don't know. You should not put water in that and drink it. Nope. Uh, multiple colors in here. Let's talk about the multiple colors. Multiple uh, colors. There's just something about the color. We were talking about this before we started. There's just something about the colors in there that I just find really satisfying. I think it's a good, there's a lot of the clear, and then there's a little sprinkling of other. Yeah. I like the amber. The, this one here? Oh, that's pink. Amber, that's the yellowy, right? That's what you're talking about? Oh, like, uh, okay. Like, uh, did I get it? Nice. Okay. I got one. You can't even. <laughs> can't even tell it's there. I have little tiny carny worker hands, so I can get those. Nice. Not the hands. What's the third thing that scares you? <laughs> oh, you're referencing a movie that I'm not placing. I definitely haven't watched it. <laughs> what movie? Small hands. It smells like cabbage. Also towers. <laughs> nice. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> totally broke our train of thought. That's totally fine. Uh huh. Uh, CD cases, multiple colors. Uh, a lot of times we'll have you know, thin ones. We'll have a black back. And that's why the black is in here. Um, somebody did ask if it's a different plastic, and uh, not really sure. It's a number six, a polystyrene, but the front isn't labeled, so we don't know. Right. I, I would imagine, so um, I had a lot of CDs. I, I used to DJ. Yeah, no, I had like CD turntables. I would scratch up a storm. Wait, you can turntable a CD? Yeah, it was all digital. It would just, it was, it was fun. It was a good time. Anyway, huh? Um, that black plastic insert is slightly different because it's a it's less fragile. Okay. Cool. So uh, well, yeah, we ground them up together. Let's let's go back. Let's talk about why. Let's yeah. let's talk a little bit, and maybe you didn't even know because I don't even know if you've read. So we've got a blog post that's not out yet. Yeah, it is. Is it up? It's out. Oh, so, so you read since, it uh, when you wrote it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I wrote a blog post. Um, if you've been following the live videos over the last few weeks, you know that we've extruded Lego and vacuum nozzles. And the thing that- Squatty potties. Squatty potties. 
I'm gonna dive into that one. Head first. Oh, uh, diving board. Hold your nose. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where it derails on this video yeah, too. Done. All right, no, we're good. We're good. So the thing that I liked about this is that this is the first thing in the recent series of videos we've done that really is, I think, applicable. People don't generally have, you know, a few dozen squatty potties laying around or a bunch of excess Lego that they want to grind up and make film it. Right. But you very well may be looking at your bookshelf or something and seeing that you have a few hundred CD cases and thinking, I want to go digital, but I have all this stuff and I just, I, I, I don't like the idea of throwing this stuff away knowing that it's not going to get recycled. Well, here's an opportunity. If you have an extruder, well, there you go. You know, now you've got an option. You can do something with it. You can 3D print with it. You can 3D print with it. Will it print? Or at least have fun trying. Or, yeah, you know, it's a, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes and then it you can work. throw it away. <laughs> you can at least break it down into smaller pieces and then throw it away. I yeah. Mean, you've got some, you got some real options. I mean, at the, at the very least, doing this over throwing them away like this, you know, mm -hmm. that's better. I wonder what people have done with this. We did the master spool. Yeah. I wonder what people have done with CD cases. The master case? Yeah. We all remember this, the AOL fish Oh, uh, you can print one of these. Yeah. Oh. You can totally print one of these That's out of those. a much cooler idea than what we printed. Yeah, we should probably get to that. So we ground them up. Let's go through the steps. Yeah, we what, got happened, to... what happened in this case? So in this case. Ha, case. We ground up the cases. And then we made some filament. And uh, filament came out pretty well, uh, even with what we thought was some mixed, uh, mixed polymer grades. Yeah. But you know, we did something a little bit... Did we do it for this one? No, we didn't. No. No, it's the other one. Ooh. This is the problem. We're working on a lot of different types of plastic right now. At the same time. Parallel development. We're having so much fun doing it's, it. It's, it's a good time. But sometimes Jeremy gets confused. I got confused. I thought we were doing something else today. It's all good. So, we have this filament. It's like a slinky. It is. Um, it's, it's a little brittle, you know. I'm not sure, we didn't dry this material before we extruded it, but it made filament. Diameter was pretty good. Um, I don't know if we had a tolerance. In the case study for it. I thought we did. Let's see. It really is a case study. It's a case case study. It's I don't a case know if it's squared a study. Case study or a meta case study? I don't have tolerances. No. Uh, it extruded pretty low, 170 C or 174 C. Actually, 240 C was our middle zone. We did this on the EX6 versus the EX2. Um, I do believe this material would work on EX2 just fine, yeah. but uh, we did it on the EX6 as we always lean towards the EX6 when right. when testing these new polymers out. Um, Cause it's easier for us. It is. Let's uh, start with success and then work backwards. Um, so we made some filament. Came out pretty good, other pretty than good. maybe being a little brittle. Yep. And uh, we didn't have a problem with ovality. So the yeah. past two, the squatty, well the squatty potties was, was polypropylene. Um, at least that's what we thought. And then the one before that, the vacuum, the vacuum nozzles. nozzles. Yeah, we had some ovality issues. Didn't have it with uh, CD cases. Uh, which was nice because that's you know makes it really easy to make filament, yeah. um, extrude it, and then 3D print with it. Right. Yeah. Now, of course, if you didn't have all this mixed color in here, you know, if you had like our stack yeah. over there is all clear, you could make some clear filament, clear-ish was yeah. filament. Was it like this amount of black that made this? Yeah. So this is exact. This was fed right into the extruder. Um, no extra material was added. 100% CD cases. You know, that's really exciting. Something we haven't touched on is... Because uh, that could have been a cool color. Yeah, if we didn't have the black. It's interesting. Um, a lot of the times when people talk about recycling and 3D printing, we're getting off tangent here. Uh, All right. Let's, let's pull kind back. Of what we're doing for. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, they'll mix in, like, like ground up PLA, they'll mix mm. in virgin pellets, right? right? Well, this is 100%, this filament is made from 100% CD cases. So we didn't add any extra polystyrene and other pellets to it. It is just, it's with every uh, material in the series. So the Legos was 100% Legos. The Squatty Potty was 100% Squatty Potties. Nothing else added. Um, vacuum nozzles. I mean, it was all, I mean, the vacuum nozzles did suck a little, but you know, it was, it was okay. So let's, let's talk about printing with this stuff. Uh, we showed you that the filament was a little brittle. 
Um, I'll let you take it away over there. So, and it, oh. <laughs> Who's using this table for that's, prototyping? That's, that's absolutely not plastic. That's a shard of metal. Ow! I might be bleeding. There's that's fine. Right there. Hey, I'm gonna not put my arm in that. So in case you're really close to the shop. Yeah, in case you're watching and thinking that this is all we do, we actually do develop and make things here as evidenced by the metal shards in my arm now. And blood. And blood. Yeah, so, you know, you can get an idea of what this was. I think we were, we're trying to do on. a cell phone case. I'm gonna cover that logo. An Apple cell phone case? Right, <laughs> so that was gonna say fill a lot. It kind of says fill a lot. You know, what I really like about this filament versus a lot of the stuff that we have, this is really shiny. It like, is this really is shiny. kind of fun. And oh, I guess this was a print that worked. Super shiny. You put, you put it in the failed print. It, it's like it's got that reflectiveness to it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that like is... something you put on the wall in your room. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what you'd use that for. It's just it's just cosmetic, you know. You could you could just kind of. What note would that make? Is that like a? You could put a whole bunch of those. It's not on a... When you're DJing, you put them on a string and then. I mean, that's two what eighth notes. What was your DJ name? DJ Tech. <laughs> that's because, a good one. Because people made me have a name, and I'm like, I don't want a name. Can I just be Jeremy? And they're like, No, you can't have be. A that's. Name. And I was like, What's the simplest, least lame? That, yeah, that was the least lame name I could come up with. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you'll see we have a bunch of fails. So this was, uh, you know, we always start printing with our test, mm. test print. Um, this one broke when we were taking it off, so we had to print another. Did we use the Velcro? We did use the Velcro, as you can see, the roughness. Um, that's something we should probably do a write-up on about. We should, probably do a, we should probably do a video on options like that. You know, yeah. what are the things we could do on the bed. So in case you haven't watched one of the last couple of videos. Or read the case study. Or read the case study or the blog post. One of the things that we've been doing for material that isn't kosher, not, not isn't kosher, really but... binding yeah. to the bed well, we've been putting uh, the, the hook side of Velcro down. We've been putting a Velcro sheet and then using that as a platform to print onto because it's got those little hooks, which you can see, you know, as we remove it, it leaves a texture there, which, you know, if you care, you could. We have fixed that. We, we, print the, we print with a raft now, and then we print the part right on top of it. Okay. So I think we'll, yeah, we should, that's a write-up. But that's, that's something that we've learned, and, and really, are we doing this solely to make filament out of CD cases or vacuum nozzles? No, it's the knowledge that's coming with it as we work through some of these challenges. And in next week's video, there's a whole other thing that we've, mm. we've learned about that, yeah. um, an improvement to making filament. Yeah, yeah, we're just, we're just coming video. up with some with some cool stuff. So that's why we're doing this, and we appreciate you watching because it gives us the motivation to keep doing more. I always wonder where I should stare when the, the other person on stage is talking. Should I stare like right into the camera? Cover your face with your hands. That seems appropriate. Okay. <laughs> ah. Uh, I, I look at I look at you while you're talking because I figure they're looking at you while you're talking. Okay. Like if, 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 if Kevin was a person rather than a camera holder, I mean, Kevin's a person, but his role yeah, is nah, kind of different. <laughs> Kevin is a legitimate, functional, and worthwhile human being, but at the moment he is standing in for all people watching. If there was a person right there not holding a camera, we would look, and you were talking, we would both be looking at you. Okay. So that feels better. All right. Unless you were talking to or about that other person, then I might look. So if you talk about the audience, I might look at the camera. Okay. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I just made that up. I don't know if that's if that's real. We're gonna try it. Yeah. It's still about live after all. Woo! Live. All right. What so did, what's sample this? print. What this was. Um, what is this? You know, one thing we've been trying to do is just come up with different prints. It's a headphone wrap. <laughs> Why? <laughs> We are not. That Why am creative. I doing this? We, we promise that our next, um, our next prints are going to be a lot more useful and connect back to uh, what we're recycling a little better. I mean, the poop emoji was perfect. For you squatty potties. You call this a headphone wrap? I call it. No, look, like the Philbot out of out of this is the same thing. Maybe How is this? Because look, it's just what it is. Well, then you gotta you gotta look at this. See. When you have the this little thing that's just really obnoxious, you can you wrap it and you can put it right in the F. 
And then if you, you can have, put it right in the end. If you have the other one, you can put it in the oh. <laughs> if you have okay. if you have a three and a half millimeter jack, yes, you could you could stick that into the hole in the B or the O. Just gonna rock out. Should part of this process be asking pe people for uh, suggestions on what we should print? We would love feedback on that if people yeah. have ideas. If you could do that, because you know which one you're doing for that week. If you could do it before that yeah, week, that time. Yeah. And yeah. we've kind of Otto's been sending out like um, what to vote on. Like he has the list of uh, ideas, and he's been sending them out to us. Hey, Otto. <laughs> Otto's not here. Otto's gone. Pretend to be Otto. Make it like okay. We're having a. Look, guys. We will. <laughs> I'm printing stuff. Otto so does we, a lot more. I than don't that. know how flattering that is. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. It's not flat. I I don't do impressions. Me neither. Oh. All right. So if Otto was here, we would talk to him. But it's a good point. If you watch, you have some feedback on materials you would like to see us work with. Or and then what to print with them? What to the, print with them? That's the part we have that we can do it. We just don't have great <laughs> creative right. creativity. Between, let's let's do this between now and next week. Let's come up with a, a way that we would do that. Maybe we, we drop it into social media. Yeah, you know the morning because we we generally print those things the day of these videos. Right. Or the, the yeah maybe the, the night, maybe the night before. So we'll we'll try and work out a process for that. So you all listening watching can be involved. That'd be fun. Forgot where to look. Um, so yes, you can 3D print with CD cases. You can, well, you can grind them. You can definitely make filament, and you can definitely 3D print with CD cases. Yeah. Um, samples. And we have samples. So if you want to head on over to philabot.com, you can get yourself a free sample of CD case filament. You're gonna pay for some shipping, but other than that, we spent the time. We made the filament. Throw you a sticker and a pen, and you know we'd love to see what you print. With the filament that we made, yeah, it's only it's uh, I think it's fifty or sixty grams. It says it on the listing. Uh, we only have ten, so there you go. Once limited, they're gone, yeah, limited edition, <laughs> just like CDs. collector's item. Ooh, yeah, not signed, numbered, or with a certificate of authenticity. We could sign ten. It's a lot of work. I don't think we're famous yet. We're not gonna. We'd sign it in a sharpie and it would come off on their hand and they'd be all mad. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, that's just like when you used to write on CD cases. You know? Yeah. Cool. That's it. Any questions come in? No. <laughs> Any watchers? No questions. We got seven. Seven Yay! people. Woo! Thank you, people that are watching. Yay. Yeah. We appreciate you. And for all the people that watch afterward. And for the because that's the majority multitudes <laughs> of people who are watching afterwards, all dozens, several dozens of them, generally within the first week. Is this our thirty seconds of like no buffer? We haven't. No, our buffer comes after. Okay. Are you ready to wrap? Is there anything else you want to say? No, I'm super. This was a this was a fun one. I think uh, the ones coming up are going to be the the plastics that we're working with and recycling yeah. are going to be really exciting. Yeah. You know, let, let's be honest. Not all of these are going to be as exciting. Some of them are going to be more exciting. Some are going to be ridiculous. We're going to make puns and just keep going with them. Like the squatty potties. Yeah. Better sit down for that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If we're good? Yeah. All right. So don't forget, you can find the blog post. You can find the filament samples. You can find the case study right up with temperatures and everything else over at philbot.com. We want to hear from you. Find us on social media. We're at philbot. You can call us, you can email us. I have this, the logo. Philabot.com, you can have a shirt on this time. <laughs> Yay. That's awesome. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll be back next week. 30 seconds. Can I just count? Oh, I just <laughs> count. 